All right, now we have the software installed and the next thing we're going to do is write our sample program. Before, but before we do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the sample program that we're going to write, which is a console program. So we'll walk through exactly what a console program is, what it does, and a little bit about how to, to put one together before we actually write the code in Visual Studio. So a console program uh, is a fairly old program. It doesn't ha it have the, the typical graphical user interface that, that you see in most programs. And uh, we'll look at that in a little bit more detail. So a console program is a, a program that really only has a text interface. Uh, you write uh, characters to the screen and you read from the screen as well. It's really kind of an older style technology. Uh, it's a very simple program and it receives its user input from, from the keyboard. Um, the nice thing about this though is it, it's a very good program uh, as a first program because it's much simpler in nature. Um, it can perform input and output from other sources than the, than the keyboard. You can read from files, you can read from uh, uh, sockets over the internet, you can do all types of things, but typically it's used for very simple operations to read and write from the screen. Um, the last thing about it is it's sequential in nature, meaning that it only does one thing at a time. It, it, it steps through a program step by step and, and it is single threaded, as opposed to graphical programs that you'll see that can do multiple operations at the same time, meaning that it's uh, multi-threaded. So how is a console program built? Well, it it's, it's, can be built in many different languages. It can run on different uh, uh, operating systems. A console program really is a Windows kind of terminology, but it, it, it would be understood on, uh, in the Unix platform and other platforms as well. And it can be written in Java or C Sharp, C++, or any other language. Also, various scripting languages uh, can have the same effect. So in Microsoft Windows, it's run in a command window, a command prompt window. Um, some of that kind of went away, I think, with uh, Windows 8. Uh, it's listed as command prompt. You can actually enter the command to run the program. Uh, the other note at the bottom is it has to be included in a path of the directory to execute the program or included in the DOS path. But uh, we'll see that in our example program. So this is exactly then what a, a, a console program looks like. Uh, here's a screenshot of a very simple console program. You see the uh, the command prompt label at the top of the window, so that's really uh, how, how a command window looks on the screen. So um, what we will be building, since this is a simple environment, again, it's ideal for the first program that, that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to write the classic Hello World program. There's not much to it, but you know, downloading the software and getting Visual Studio going and um, going through all the steps of that, it's a little bit involved to get going for the very first time. So uh, the sample program will illustrate some of the very basic C-sharp uh, constructs in the program. Um, that's really it for now. The next step is uh, in the next screencast, we'll actually fire up Visual Studio, write the program, and I'll show you a little bit about how to operate uh, Visual Studio and explain a little bit about the our first program. So I'll see you in the next lesson.